LJ? Yeah? I really want to see the new recap review. Where can I go? Well, I'll tell you, little Johnny. If you head on over to Vessel.com forward slash the TTV channel, you'll find all of our content, recap reviews, mock spotlights, and more on Vessel a week early. That's right, a full seven days before we release it on YouTube. Not only that, but content from tons of other creators all across the internet. In order to access it, you need to sign up for early access, which is only $3 a month. It's a really great deal, and it helps us create better, higher quality content, and it gets you guys in on the loop a whole week early. Wow! I'm gonna go sign up right now! You do that, little Johnny. You do that. Five, four, three, two, one, sink! Hello and welcome, everybody, to the TTV Brickfeed Podcast. Mardi Gras! Hey, yeah. Episode 10, hype, yeah, party! Episode yeah. 10. <laughs> Big one zero. I guess we can say this episode number several times this time. Why not? It's episode a 10. Celebration. 10, 10, 10. Today. We made it to 10. I catchy episode number. Uh, well, what are we on? It's our 10th week anniversary. I sound like... <laughs> Wow. I sound like an overly attached girlfriend. It's like, oh, it's our 10-week anniversary. We should have done the epic 10th <laughs> episode live stream extravaganza. Okay, you're done. <laughs> okay. Wow. That's yeah, just... let's, let's, I, cool I really it. let's crank it down a notch. At, when we are at Brick Fair, I want us to have a talking stick, and I never want Meso to have it. Oh, we should have an intervention LJ. about your extravaganzas, Meso. I yeah. think you have too many extravaganzas. I just like having fun, right. man. That's all Listen, it is. We would have that intervention, and Meso would sit there going, It's an intervention extravaganza. <laughs> 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 he would. We'd have one intervention. He'd be like, This is the extravaganza of interventions. <laughs> Anyhow, how you doing, guys? Who are we? Let's intervene right now. I'm John. I'm Meso. I'm LJ. I'm Ben. And I'm Purple Dragon. And this is the TTV Brickfeed Podcast, episode 10, if Ooh. you haven't heard enough already. Brought to you by Audible, Vessel, and a TTV store. Ooh. You'll hear more about it coming up soon. Ooh. Let's head right into it, guys. <laughs> this podcast is haunted. What is this? It's July. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome to the 5th of July. It's Halloween, unofficially. Yes. We're recording this on a Monday. Sorry to break that illusion. Yesterday was July 4th. What did you guys do? You guys do anything I interesting? I worked all day. Yeah, how'd that go? It went fine because the majority of it... Well, I wouldn't say the majority. There was about six hours where I just didn't do anything, and that was my job. Nice. Well done. Oh, I love, th I love that. I love jobs like that when you're I just kind of like there, added just bonus me there. I'm in my house, so... <laughs> It just yeah. said, sit around and play Halo. So that's what well, I did. Uh, I Very mean, nice. like, that's kind of what you were probably going to do anyways, right? So. <laughs> no, no, no. Not like it, it kept you from going out with friends or yeah. <laughs> barbecuing. Yeah. Nope. That's mean. I went. I. Uh, anyone else do anything cool? Uh, I saw fireworks. Yeah, I saw, saw it. fire. I think, uh, <laughs> I think we all did something incredibly cool. That's right. We were free. Indeed. Well, I mean, you weren't. Hashtag you had work. Brexit anniversary. <laughs> listen, listen. Well, he was working, but he could keep all the money he yeah, earned, like I, a I, true I, American. I'm free to keep that money except for taxes <laughs> next year. <laughs> it's like he did, LD really did the most American thing of all, participate in capitalism. Yeah. And really, <laughs> okay, isn't no, that what it's all on. about? Moving on. Okay. <laughs> listen, I like that spirit, but we can't do this. Not everybody like a... listens to us does. Not everybody works, I know. Um, nice. I went to the Cardinals game. I went to the St. Louis Cardinals game versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Nobody Man, cares. Was, <laughs> that was Were okay. they Sky Pirates? <laughs> so this is a Lego podcast. <laughs> and spe I was I was gonna I was literally gonna segue like speaking of pirates, <laughs> the Ninjago website just got updated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You, you jumped in a little too soon there, Purple. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> the Miyagi was the that we got updated. Did you just say purple, yeah. tell she you. jumped in too spoon? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. You just think a little too not spoon. Next time you got a fork I don't think Purple's it, jumping know? in to spoon anybody. Purple, what? tell us about this new Ninjago website. How's that? Uh, well, 
Basically, they have like the new summer sets listed on the products page, and the backgrounds are different, and that's pretty much it. Get hype! Are there oh, like, so, like product every descriptions new, like, or like any ever. insight into the story whatsoever? Uh, not that I found yet, but I'm still going through Real. stuff. So you didn't look at it, huh? I mean, I, you said to wait until the <laughs> podcast. No, no. Not what they meant. said to wait for was to tell them what the update was, not to look at it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna a still... I'm going to the rock rotor I want to see what this is about The rock, the rock rotor? rotor The rock rotor It's rotor Not to oh be boy. confused with rock raiders Which is a separate line entirely It's rock oh. rotor Cole. Cole has yet another dirt vehicle That is his shtick They're still calling him Lil Nelson Not the purple ninja <laughs> But there are no ninja confirmed. no insight into the story whatsoever from here. Don't know why Cole's you know, not why, a ghost. Why does that not surprise me? That <laughs> I think it's time, just leading up to a reboot, man. The first time we see the purple ninja and he's handicapped. <laughs> wow. wow. He broke his okay, leg. That's the word. Listen, wow. it's not like he's permanently handicapped. He only broke his legs. All right, it's not that bad. Wow. 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 He totally so anyway, he has like this, this is the most <laughs> controversial podcast ever. jet thing. I don't feel comfortable being here anymore. Listen, he <laughs> only broke his legs. Yes, the there reference. are a lot worse things that could happen to him. Got a lot of time. Oh, to yeah, kill. like the stuff that's gonna happen to you if you keep talking. No, oh, my goodness. Anyway, Lil mm, Nelson well, has like um, this little detachable anyhow, jet on, thing, was... which is kind of cute. Hey. Wait, what? <laughs> What's kind of cute now? Sorry. Lil Nelson has this detachable jet thing. I don't care. So yeah, moving on. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. It's, like it's a, a pretty non-existent website update, to be honest with you. It's not the most interesting thing in the world. But I suppose everything has a stepping stone to greatness. Eventually ooh, we're going to get... Wait, wait, I have one more stupid joke to make that bring only it. people who play Xbox Please. will get. Oh, good, bring so, it. So sure, is that like the son of Major Nelson? <laughs> I get that. <laughs> see, but yeah, you play. See, Xbox, I got so. it, but just I don't, I don't see where the joke is. Like, why is that funny? Major and Nelson, little Nelson. Yeah. He's a little Nelson, and then there's a major. But it wasn't Nelson. really funny. <laughs> so Lloyd's dragon can shoot projectiles from the tips of its tail. Nobody cares about Lloyd's dragon. I do. <laughs> oh, no it's one. interesting because they're calling it the Green NRG Dragon. A girl and, is no one, so... Wow! And the NRG yeah. hasn't been mentioned. Yeah, in yeah. yeah I did that. All right. Fair okay. enough. And you said my NRG handicap dragon. comment was bad. Screw you. No, it's a Game of Thrones reference. Uh, what? What are you talking about? I mean, it wasn't yeah. really... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it yeah, really. it is. <laughs> no, I, I was going to yeah, say it, was. it wasn't really funny either. So I mean, no, okay, fair. I'm just, I'm just saying. No, it's I'm, not, I'm not. I'm I'll, defending you. Yeah, yeah. Because LJ is yeah, like, yeah. oh, well, he makes his dumb joke, and everybody like, ah oh, ha ha. But when I make my dumb joke, no one goes ha ha ha. They go oh ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> great All impression, right. Ben. That's a very good impression of what laughs are like at LJ's jokes. Well, something I guess kind of got confirmed, or not really confirmed, but like as confirmed as we're going to get. I feel over this last week we were talking about the Ninjago voice cast and uh recent like after we recorded that episode a lot of the Twitter accounts of Lego employees retweeted that uh that slash film article including people like uh like Mark John very Stafford high up people, was one of them Mark John Stafford was one of them uh I'm I'm looking at my phone right now I believe uh Michael McNally who is the content marketing pro and PR for Lego um there's a bunch of people involved with Lego and Ninjago, uh, like actually members of the company retweeted that. I'm assuming that means that like, not all, that they got the okay to, you know, retweet that or that it's like official in some capacity. But, uh, that, you know, I don't know. That's as, I feel as official as we're going to get, but I, I, it didn't feel like a fan cast. It felt like an actual legitimate thing a corporation would do to cast all those people. Uh, so. Yeah. There you go. That's that's as, I, as far as I'm concerned. That's the confirmation we needed. Uh, that's gonna I have be your no cast doubt that it is Jago legitimate film. at this point. Yeah. So rip uh, the TV yeah. show voice actors. We'll have to deal. If they're like good at acting, then I probably won't mind. And if they're not like drastically different, like if Lloyd's voice is suddenly like super, not Lloyd. Uh, if Jay's voice is suddenly like super duper deep, 
then that would yeah, be really yeah, odd. Be, right. I, the, be none like of those actors are like weird. super deep voices. Um, Camille Nanjiani and the the dude from The Office, who I can't remember the name of now. Uh, and then Dave was it was it Dave Franco or James Dave Franco? Franco. James Dave Franco, Franco would be yeah, hilarious. <laughs> 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 Franco, Franco would be really no, great. See, I would not want James Franco involved in this because that means Seth Rogen would be involved. Oh, that would be great. That okay, would be imagine horrible. Seth Rogen is the brown I, ninja. I can't. He's Seth Rogen. Derek. No, Seth Rogen is there. Come on, tell me, <laughs> tell me, <laughs> Seth Rogen is there. He's freaking hilarious. Gosh, that drives me nuts. I don't like anything that Seth Rogen is in because Seth Rogen is obnoxious. I don't like... Seth Rogen is pretty he funny. Plays, he plays one character. He plays Seth yeah, Rogen. Yeah, but so does, so does Jackie Chan, really. Let's, <laughs> yeah. let's be real here, I mean, right? Yeah, that's fine. But I don't like the character Seth Rogen plays. I like Jackie oh, Chan. Oh, fair enough. Well, okay, fair, fair. Well, he wasn't like... Mantis was a different character in Kung Fu Panda. That, great. Okay, was, that's a claim kinda, you made. Kinda, now sure. you just tore it to pieces. But, I mean, it's like, I'm very glad that Seth Rogen, from what we can tell, is no way involved. I would, I would really, well, I mean, did you not like the Lego movie? Wasn't it Seth Rogen? Yes, yeah, Seth Rogen? No. No. Who was, who was in the, who was in the Lego movie? It was Chris Pratt. Channing Tatum. Shane. It was, uh. You're thinking of, um, the jump, the, the yeah, 21 the fat jump guy. Jonah Street Hill. Folks. Yeah, Jonah Hill. Yeah, yeah, Jonah yeah. Hill and Channing Tatum. You have a yeah. fat guy in Hollywood. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they're fat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So, they were fine. Well, there you go. That's, that's Ninjago film. That's Ninjago film. Why yeah, and apparently uh, some more episodes are airing. Um, the Skybound episodes are about to be uh, airing this July 11th. They've been airing since June, I thought. I, it says here uh, that um, we'll see zap zap to it. There, they're just they're gonna have a Cartoon Network will have a week of the Ninja event with a new episode oh, every okay. day at seven o'clock p.m. Eastern time culminating with back-to-back episodes on Friday, July 19th, to finish up the season. And this is Skybound. Cause you gotta, okay, you gotta then they mind. probably started in June, and now they're just finishing everything up? Probably. Now, keep in mind, these have all aired. It's just they haven't all aired in the United States. Yeah. It's like a ridiculous amount of time in between, like, countries. Yeah. Like, you start airing in, like, other countries in, like, the winter, and now it's summer here. Like, that's just very odd to me. Yeah, I don't even know how many of us. How many of us here actually like watch Ninjago on TV? I, I mean, actually nobody, never have. You totally I have. should. I have not. It I, is. I've never watched. I've, any I sort watched of Ninjago. Ninjago. I watched. I watched Ninjago like the TV show. I just haven't watched it on TV. Do what? How many seasons well, do they I, have up you know, on Netflix? Whenever there's like a new episode, I'll usually just watch it on Cartoon Network's live stream thing online. Mm. Because all you have to do is like connect to cable, and then I don't you have just, cable. Like, watch so TV. there you go. <laughs> I live in an apartment complex that has cable, but I don't know where to get that information. Yeah. Probably, probably the apartment owner, I guess. Well, I mean, like, I don't know if that applies, like, it's for the apartment building. I don't know if I can log in with her account. Because don't you, don't you log yeah, in with you your account, Yeah, you have to log basically? in with your account. Right. So I don't know if they have, like, individual accounts for all the people. I think they'd be kind of hesitant for the apartment complex to give me, you know, the password for... I guess I do work there, so it wouldn't be as bad as, like, a random resident. But you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I guess, you know, I didn't really think about the live stream thing. That's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. But it, it wouldn't really be... wouldn't really is help me. Only, like, it's only do it in the it U.S.? Cable one, one cable yeah, it was like, is it only in the U.S.? Is it, you know if that's true for other countries? I have no idea. Hmm. Time to do some digging. <laughs> do some research. <laughs> I'll Come let on, you know fans, when I'm in Egypt. Actually, us. when I was in Egypt, it worked for me. Oh, there you okay. have it then, fans. So, okay, there we go. I was All also right. using the U.S. website, so I don't know if it's different for different languages. I'm sure it is, probably. But Either way. Well, hey, there you go. Good stuff. Yeah. So before we transition on to the new thing, I feel like we've kind of run an Ninjago ship. Basically. Right? Um... I'm going to talk real bit quick about uh, audible.com. Hey, uh, you go to audible. audibletrial.com slash uh, TTV. You're able to get a free audiobook of your choosing. Uh, as always, we've always recommended Brick by Brick, which has uh, a lot of stuff about the uh, formation of Lego and the building of the company and how it developed up to so far. Um, there's also a Wall Street Journal <laughs> article that's uh, about a minute long. That's <laughs> kind of cool. Um, other than that, there's that's all the Lego stuff you, you can get on Audible right now. I don't now. know. I think that get, article's the most interesting. Yeah, obviously. You can get, like, almost everything. Uh, a lot of books just in general are available on Audible. So if you're thinking about trying it, you should totally get, do it. It is you worth it. You get a 30-day free trial. 
Yeah, it really is. Especially if you go on like road trips or something, like we all be going very soon to Brick Fair. Oh yeah, Virginia. we're gonna be going on a real long road trip. Yep. Well, I mean, I'm assuming <laughs> we're gonna be going to DC at some point, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's a road trip. I mean, unless you want to fly, you want to fly to DC for the from first Gentilly? time in six years. And what do we do on our trip to DC? We listen to audio books. That's right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Who knows? Forget I mean, we don't know how we're and talking yeah, to each other and having good fun. I don't fun. know. Or, or I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe even karaoke. Forget all that. We're going to listen to the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> I, for one, like, What's this wrong is with the that? thing that's, like, kind of, <laughs> kind of evident for me. I'm kind of used to, like, talking to you guys and also doing my own thing, you know? Listen. So I don't know what is going <laughs> to happen. We are going to have two cars there, Kahis and Vars. Everybody in Var's car is going to be partying, hanging out. We're going to be doing, like, karaoke, singing along the songs. It's going to be a great time. Kahi's car, we're going to be listening uh, about how Steve Jobs. aliens affect the the ecosystem. Well, you got DVD Con player Audible. in here? What movie are we watching? Jobs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It's Steve watch Jobs, the movie. actually. We should watch the Lego movie. We should, like, add... We should have a list of movies we're going to watch. I don't want to watch yeah. too many movies, but... I know. Yeah, we're we're going to be no, doing... No, I mean, like, we're going to be there for, like, a week, man. We're going to watch at least, like, a, two or three movies. Yeah. Yeah, and none of them are going to be about We watched jobs. one movie, and it was part of, like, Planet of the Apes. It was part of Planet of the Apes. Hey, listen, Viral back me up. She Jobs is a pretty decent <laughs> movie. We, we uh, watched and it. And listen, everyone else will shoot <laughs> we you down. Yeah, <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna watch it there. We should watch we should watch like the social network. That's what oh, we should watch. That's even you guys should watch a movie really. that's actually fun. Yeah. You don't have you watched the movies? You you don't know if it's actually fun. But or not. you like them, so oh, I think it's safe mean. to assume. Don't be mean. Yeah, that's, that's, that's I know, rude. that's 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 really prejudiced of you to say. <laughs> yeah. I could like fun movies. You don't know. What a racist. You don't know me. Get out of here, purple. <laughs> I didn't say anything no. about race. I'm not, I'm not going that far. I'm saying she's prejudiced against me. She's like, yeah, and Kahiest. You're part of the Kahi race. Johnist. You're, you're, you're Johnist. 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 <laughs> Johnist. Wow. Oh my gosh. Johnist. She's going to turn yellow. Jonas? Oh, wait, that's Jaundice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was going okay. in one direction. All right. But just yeah, I, it back. Wow. Hey, you guys what, you know what's cool? Mighty Micros. Let's move what? right along to that. What? Wow. What? <laughs> what? That's that's okay. I want to get, a, I get, I I get as far away. That's what we're talking about now. Moving. That's the topic That's what we're talking about now. There's Mighty one guy who's now. slightly purple, and that makes me happy, but it's combined with like the grossest red. That's like my least favorite type ever, so I hate that. Are you that's talking about Magneto and Wolverine? Yeah. Get the you heck are such out of here! A little baby. Yeah. His car really has like a magnet on it. Yeah, because he's Magneto. I know he's magnetic and Magneto. Yada yada. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, she, it's so okay. silly. Talking stick no longer in your possession. So Kahi, what do you think about these? <laughs> I okay. Here's what I'm really excited about. Iron Man has the original Iron Man helmet. That's really cool. We only see movie versions of Iron Man from now, like, you know, because of the movies. And this is really cool seeing, like, a comic-inspired version of the old Iron Man armor. I'm really kind of excited for that, to be honest. Um, Didn't he look like a tin oh, can? Oh, dude, let me take a look at that real quick. Can. Oh, hey, shoot. Do you, do yeah, you have, yeah, right? Do you have the talking stick? No, you don't. I do now. No. <laughs> I, I think Iron Man versus Thanos is probably, like... The coolest car here, the most inspired car design. Oh like yeah, the fact that look it's a at a giant that. gauntlet with the, yeah. the Infinity Gems. That's that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I, I think I might actually pick this one up. I didn't really yeah. look at the Mighty Micros all too much. It's like uh, they're really chibi and kind of <laughs> silly looking. But um, gotta admit, yeah, this one well, might have some right. worth to me. That one, I mean, it's the one that has. It has Thanos uh, as a like a normal main yeah. figure, which I think is really cool. And he has that giant fist Infinity Gauntlet thing. I'm not sure how that. I guess it just connects to his arm. I don't. I don't know. I think but there might be a cool. clip on the in on the inside part. Yeah, that he they just, have, it's uh, an existing piece. To. They're just reusing it. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I didn't know that. It's like a weapon. But, uh, but I like the Iron Man minifigure, and I like the vehicle for Thanos, and I think I would actually buy this. The vehicle like for Thanos is one of my yeah. favorite things. The gauntlet car. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah too. that's great. <laughs> See, it's yeah. such a silly it's concept, but it's it's so cool and creative. 
I'm really? not the biggest fan of Scorpion versus Spider-Man. Because, you know, everyone knows Spider-Man's greatest enemy, Scorpion. <laughs> <All right. laughs> For those of who played the Spider-Man game... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't like that Spider-Man head print. Yeah, yeah, what's up with his I don't eyes? really I don't like it either. It's They're kind of not weird. really a fan of it. It's um, like squinting because it's so bright out. Scorpion, I would like more if he had more detail on it. I don't like how simple he he looks like his torso. Yeah, he looks is right. Really lame. Yeah. I, I, Has Scorpion would, ever been in a uh, Lego set before? Was he? Yeah, in one of the, actually, he's this going year. to be in one. Um, he's going to be no, in that bridge set. That is out. No, he was in the the other one, the the construction, the bridge, the bridge battle, dude. Yeah, oh, was it was it the bridge battle? Yeah, yeah, yeah only yeah. the bridge battle, and that at, that set is actually out. No, that set I'm getting, that's for sure. And it's so right, expensive. Have fun spending like a hundred dollars. <laughs> uh, dude, I really do not mind. Uh, that that's gonna be the first set I buy when we're over there in Virginia. Oh, have wow. fun. Have fun packing it's, it and getting it back. It's home. interesting to me that like Spider Man has a spider and Scorpion has a scorpion, and none of their powers involves doing anything with spiders or scorpions. It's like, <laughs> you know, like yes. Spider Man can't summon spiders like like Ant Man. Well, didn't he like do that once like, in like one comic, or like he pretended to do it? No, like, he pretted like, to. He's like, yeah, he's like, I'm Spider Man. I can summon the spiders. He, <laughs> no, she's is is a thing on MJ. He was like, oh, of uh, course, that MJ. makes sense. Like, you know, yeah, it was it was on MJ a while ago, so she probably saw it there. But yeah, he does pretend to some spiders. Spider I will say the Marvel Mighty, Mighty things, Micros look far better than the DC Mighty Micros. Way better. To be honest with you. I don't understand what the DC ones even, like... Is that do, supposed like, to be Invisible Jet? <laughs> yeah, it is. But Invisible Jet has giant black wheels, it. don't you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, here's the thing about Wolverine versus Magneto. I don't oh, know yeah, why I didn't make to Professor talk about X. that real quick, too. I, would, I don't know why I didn't make it Professor X versus Magneto. It seems like Professor X... Should be a shoe in for the Mighty Micros line, which involves taking a minifigure and putting it in like <laughs> a small chair like thing with wheels. Oh my god. I don't god. know. I was just, I thought yeah, that would missed be way opportunity better. there. Instead, we got right. like a weird, like, Blackbird car thing. Yeah. Uh, the X Chibi Wolverine. <laughs> Chibi Wolverine. We haven't, we've never even gotten Professor X in a minifigure form. I don't believe. Was he in that one Blackbird set? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure we've never gotten Professor X before, which is crazy because he's such a like an important he's Marvel the dude. character. Yeah, no. iconic and everything. I don't know. Whale. I'm not gonna be buying any of these, but I will say they at least have a spark of originality. To I'll probably them. pick up the Thanos one. Are these coming out in the summer? Th Just to be sure. Um, yes. Good. They good. are. Then I'll be. I'll be at I, on display be like at San Diego Comic yet. Con. Yeah. Oh yeah. And speaking of. Uh, speaking of San Diego Comic Con, there is rumors of the two new minifigures. The exclusive minifigures are coming out. Oh. Uh, oh, the no. one rumor is that it's going to be Captain America, uh, Steve Rogers for Marvel, and the Atom for DC. And I'm not so, sure. Blame. So real quick, I, I have got to comment on your wording. And not that you mispronounced anything like we knew, usually would know. It's that just, <laughs> you said, well, the rumor is we could be getting Captain America, Steve Rogers from Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, what's he gonna look like? Because we have about a bazillion Steve Rogers. Well, I mean, from I was Marvel. just gonna get to that. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like Steve Rogers, <laughs> I think it's the new Captain America Steve Rogers comic book, oh, the one where he's like where he's, he's a Hydra Hydra? agent. Ah. Right. He has that new costume. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I'm not like really looking. Uh, that's that's why I specified it was gonna be Steve Rogers and not the Falcon. Yeah, because we already got the uh, Falcon. but that costume. Yeah, we already got their Falcon as Captain America. But, yeah. like, that that costume right there. That'd be I'm cool. not a huge fan of that costume, but I think it would be kind of nice to have as an exclusive minifigure. Um, the Atom, I'm pretty sure they're going to do the Atom from the Arrowverse, the Arrow and Flash universe, the, like the TV Atom. Because okay. the Atom hasn't really been in anything new recently to, to warrant getting a minifigure. Uh, he doesn't have, like, an iconic design enough. or anything. But I don't know. Those, those are the rumors. Uh, I don't think it's been confirmed anywhere, so. <laughs> Great assault, but it would be kind of cool. I'm, SDCC is going to be big. It's going to be our first SDCC covering like system-based news extensively. So I'm sure there's going to be a ton of stuff. They always do a couple announcements there, like exclusive sets, Star Wars construction figures, which I'm not sure where we'll talk about here at TTV. I don't know. Right. And uh, all these exclusive minifigs and stuff, so it's going to be fun. So yeah. I don't know when that is. I need to find that out. I think Google it's going on right it. now or something. Nope. Because I saw some tweets about it. Maybe it's uh, oh. uh, 
going to July twentieth. July twentieth. Okay. So these DC so microfighters, right? Ugly. What's up with Doomsday? <laughs> Doomsday what is that? Uh, what is that? Is interesting. When it's I saw him bad, first, I was like, does he have a mohawk? <laughs> it's kind of like it's. I don't know. I don't know what. It's like a caveman. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. I'm. I'm just not feeling these DC ones. <laughs> Kid Bizarro like, and like Killer Moth with like a headpiece. It's like Halloween costume. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, that Killer looks Moth terrible. looks like a kid's Halloween costume. Oh, is that what you just said? I just okay. Uh, I really want when, that blue cowl though. For yeah. This is equivalent. Imagine like all right. Imagine the well, Mighty Micros comes out and it's like it's Iron Man versus Green Goblin, and you're like, what? 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 That's exactly what Wonder Woman versus Doomsday is. Yeah. Doomsday is very much Superman's villain. Wonder Woman, like, Doomsday are completely separate. Like, maybe, you know, Wonder Woman and Ares, for example. That's well, a great pairing. Well, about but the they movie. fight in Batman Yeah, they turn up in all the movie, probably. Why oh, yeah, remember that one time that Wonder Woman totally stuck that Kryptonian spear into Doomsday? <laughs> <laughs> remember that? Spoilers! Spoilers! Oh, Saved Superman's life. Well, if you haven't seen it by now, you're not interested enough. Yeah, well, that's it. That is yeah, true. If you haven't seen it by now, you're not. It's already, out it's already out. It's, it it's all, uh, maybe. Let's, it's let's out on DVD. If it's out on DVD, it was out in theaters. If you were like, if you don't want spoilers, I mean, you're kind of, it's really. There's no spoilers kind of in that movie. Let's be real. Everything's so yeah. predictable and formulaic. There's like two really spoiler is. things. There's like, okay. Anyway. The dirt moves up. That's so this a is a Lego podcast right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're talking, you're still talking about Lego. The Batcopter, that's a little. That's really bad. The the Why killer mobile. I think it's like a classic like comic thing. Yeah, the because Batcopter. was the, I think Robin the, drove it at some point or like something. Like the old just, Batmobile was like black and red. So maybe that's yeah. what it's supposed to be doing. You know, I do. Okay, I have to give props that like Wonder Woman has her invisible jet car. I don't. But have then props Doomsday has invisible. like Doomsday has like the uh, monster truck of Doom. <laughs> is what I'm deciding to call that <laughs> Doomster truck. Doomster. Oh, <laughs> Doomster. <wow>. Disgusting. <laughs> okay. Well, Doomster man. Truck of Doom. That's the name of this episode right here. Yeah. Well, we don't name these episodes, remember? Yeah, we, we do we now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll change the 10th episode. Anything can happen. Yeah. <laughs> Not enough room in the long title. I have to cut out your precious, like, spacing and stuff. Episode 3 my in spa- the content. My spacing is... <laughs> spacing is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Right. Spacing is pretty good. All right, well, uh, yeah, that's it for it's the mighty that. micros. Not yeah, too let's. Great. Uh, hey, you know what uh, is also cool and you should check out? It's Sonic. Oh. Sonic. <laughs> I'm trying to get from the sponsors, but sure, we'll talk about Sonic. Vessel.com slash the TTV channel. You can get all our stuff for early access. It's two ninety nine a month. It's nineteen ninety nine for a year, and uh, it will help support the channel. And you basically get all our stuff uh, a week early. So if you're hearing this on YouTube and you're like, I wonder what they're talking about next, you can go on Vessel right now and see. I wonder what you they're get talking about next. <laughs> probably Lego. <laughs> you get a thirty day free trial uh, if you want to sign up for like a free account. So you kind of want to, you know, maybe you're not feeling it. Maybe you're kind of wondering what we have. Uh, on early access, you can totally just sign up for a 30 day trial and see what we have and then decide if you want to continue. But yeah, indeed, go. it's good. So, Sonic the Hedgehog is in Lego form, which is something I didn't really think I'd ever be saying anytime soon. It is really I felt strange. like that was a long time coming, like when Lego was out of ideas. I, make it's Lego so Sonic. bizarre. Lego's never going to be out of ideas. They have the website. <laughs> ha. Wow. Good ideas. That's a really, story. that's man. <laughs> Are you gonna buy it? Are you gonna buy this uh, minifigure? No, no, it's, I'm not. It's cool and it's inventive and I like it, but like I don't like Sonic as it is. I don't I dislike get it from Sonic, my but I'm not joke. a Sonic fan. So yeah, I don't. I don't like Sonic. Yeah, part of I feel like I like the 2D stuff, but, too, but uh, yeah, no. Just... If it was part of a if it was part of a video game minifigure pack, like you you know like the minifigure packs are right now with Disney. For example, I yeah. would buy a pack and try to get Sonic, but I I don't want to buy like you know spend ten dollars to get yeah a pack yeah that's my thing that is... I wouldn't spend that kind of money on Sonic maybe if it was Mario then I'd totally go for it oh yeah oh, Mario <laughs> I'd buy Nintendo, yeah definitely. I would be all anything up on Nintendo that. If it was like, almost Pokemon, anything Nintendo oh, I would buy one. Nintendo, I would be like all right Nintendo you know is a perfect fit for Lego it's a crime that they don't have the license it's Amiibos yeah. that's what it is yeah Amiibos are the it crime. really is. 
They are crime. Oh, man, but if they had Lego, like, Lego, Lego Legend of Zelda and, like, oh, man. Dude, Lego Legend of Zelda was, like, the Hyrule Temple set. Can you imagine how man, cool that I would, would be? Man, I would buy... They or just like have, I mean, Mario, just have we a Nintendo have line, man. Castle, all oh, the paintings man. and stuff. Yep. Yep. Or, like, a Mario Kart set, you know, when they're going yeah, around, or, like, so a Mario perfect. Galaxy set. Or, or like, oh, like, I don't Pokemon. know, maybe Bionicle set. <laughs> Screw Bionicle. Bionicle. Oh, yeah, dead, everyone anyway. knows the famous Nintendo franchise, Bionicle. Bionicle. Yuri <laughs> Miyamoto sat down and created Bionicle from scratch <laughs> in the 80s. Remember that? Yeah, I remember that. I used to play Bionicles, the game, on my SNES. It was so good. Yeah, and then, Bionicle and then I, I played Super Bionicle. A couple years later, my Game Boy. <laughs> yeah, Super Bionicle Brothers. <laughs> the yes. Super Bionicle Brothers, yeah. Super Definitely. Bionicles. Um, <laughs> where can Lego go beyond this? I'm looking at this minifigure, and I'm like, I'm so amazed Down. it exists. I'm wondering where they could go after Down. this. They could make a Knuckles They could do one. other stuff. They could do, like, Lego Street Fighter, for example. They could do, like, a Street Fighter pack. Ooh, that'd be interesting. I'm be not sure bad. that they would could be do, a um, thematic match, but I would buy it. It's cool. We keep talking about this, like, every week we talk about the mentions, like, what can LEGO do next? But the fact that LEGO Sonic is staring back at me, I don't know. I feel like the, there's a whole... I remember reading in Brick by Brick, which, by the way, you can get if you go to audibletrial.com. <laughs> I remember reading Brick by Brick that, that they didn't want licensed themes, or they didn't want violence in licensed themes. And they really weren't now in the licensed themes are. to begin with. <laughs> and now it's like, oh, yeah, sure, LEGO A-Team? Go right ahead. LEGO, you know, like, all right. Times <laughs> should change. Well, oh, money sure changed. I think the licensed stuff makes the most amount of profit from Lego. I would overall. wager. I, w- I would assume so, you know. Yeah. More than, like, the generic stuff. Uh, well, yeah. hey, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, he's, uh, he's, he got to go fast. There are tons of people who are, like, Sonic fans who feel he's gotten the short end of the stick in recent years. I'm sure they'll like a Lego minifigure, but at the same time, Sonic's also very memeable, so there's a lot of people who just <laughs> buy it on principle of, like, oh, yeah. Sonic. Oh, right. That's Getting exactly yeah, why right. I want to get my friend this. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's a meme. I want that's the one that makes sense. Sense. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be great. The minifigure also looks kind of... What's the word? Weird. Kind of dopey looking, I guess, <laughs> is the word. I'm not really sure why, but he looks a little off. <laughs> He's a little dopey looking. I'm not going to lie either. I feel like... I don't know where this uh, minifigure was... Like, the picture was taken... But, um, oh, it's the guy from TT Games, but it looks a little... I thought you were going to say TTV. I'm like, what? <laughs> we didn't get this. Are there the, only these two pictures of it, or are there more out there? Uh, uh, I, I think, don't know. I think these are only two. I think they were either tweeted out or shared, uh, apparently on NeoGAF or something, but it's uh, hey, Mark Neogaf. Warburton from TT Games shared some images of the minifigure. Well, Did they you really go. feel the need to make a new ring mold? Like... Really? I didn't realize. Yeah, I don't know. Warburton. That that's that's kind of weird because I thought they already had like a ring. Yeah, they did. I don't well, know. it's, it's a, he, it was a, he, they have like the one ring from like Lord of the Rings. I think it's like isn't it like a life preserver piece or something? Yeah, isn't that what it's used oh, for? Yeah, yeah it like is. a lifesaver. Maybe it's just to yeah, okay. maintain <laughs> size proportions what or whatever. <laughs> Is that what they call them? I mean, them? they call them in certain... Uh, they call them different things in different places, sure. <laughs> well, well, what do you call them? Inner tubes? Lifesaver. No, I, I say life preserver. Oh, okay. Isn't that like, why they call the candy saver. lifesaver? Because it looks like the thing? Well, yeah, I mean, I, that's what I think of automatically. I think of the lifesaver candy. Yeah, I so know. Like but the actual like lifesaver. That's, yeah, that's, that candy in Which years. is a kind of misleading... It's like a misleading term for this candy. It's not going to save your life or anything. Yeah, it's going to end it probably. It kind of looks but, like something to save your life. Uh, whatever. Keyword Lego. Yeah. Well, anyone has any else have uh, anything they want to say about? No. Really. No. Sanic. 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 Well, speaking Sad. of uh, video game themes and whatnot, I recently picked up Lego Star Wars: Force Awakens. Hey, there you go. Oh yeah, how Ooh. is that? Yeah, yeah. Actual I, good thing. I heard it sold really well. Yeah, it's Not it's surprised. been a lot of fun. Uh, a friend of mine and I have played the uh, the past Lego Star Wars games like to the to the brim like we were we were hooked to that and that those games were our childhood so we got into this one we started playing together for like a good bit and man yeah it's a it's a lot of fun i would definitely recommend it even if you're not into like star wars or anything if you at least saw the movie <laughs> you'd you're gonna really like this game it's fun silly has that, that cla- it has that feel the classic like that a feel. classic like so- feel 
what are the new mechanics? Didn't they introduce like a cover feature, like a cover and shoot? Yeah, there's like some thing? portions where it kind of goes in, like Gears of War mode, and you just hide behind cover and you can shoot from there. And what uh, in the world? It, at first, it seems like a bit <coughs> simple, but then it gets like a bit more involved later on down the line. It's, <laughs> so it's pretty cool. There's some other things like you can, um, like other little changes, like you can use, uh, uh I don't know, like a pile of parts to build um more than one construction for different purposes in the levels. You know, huh, usually huh. You, you you build one thing then it's there and then you proceed. No, you can like use the same parts to help you get to another thing in the level too. So it's okay. pretty neat. Uh what else what else? The voices, the voice acting really throws me off cuz I'm so it used to It is actually the actors, yeah. Yeah, it's it just, is. Yeah, yeah like well, well I don't know about all of them. Daisy Ridley uh, posted the thing on uh, Instagram saying that she was indeed the voice of Ray. She in, is in it. And uh, John Boyega is in it, too, to reprise his role as Finn. And Harrison Ford's in it. Pretty much everybody's in it. Everybody that That's matters. That's so cool. Yeah. So you can, you hear Har- that Lego you can hype. actually hear Harrison Ford say something like Wookiee cookies in the game. It's like <laughs> the best thing ever. No, so like, where can you get but the game? It just throws me off because I'm Everywhere. so used to. Where, I'm where so do you used think to you can the, get the game. Well, I mean, I know you can get the game like at the store, but like, can you get it just like online? I'm sure you can get it on Steam. Steam. No, no, you can't it's get on it Steam. online. Yeah, it's, it's on completely Steam. physical okay, only. No one would ever dream <laughs> of releasing physical it versus digital. Oh, digital. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, it the voicing it throws me off. It's not because I don't like it or anything. It's just because I'm used to the old Lego Star Wars games where there were no voices, like, at all. Everything was, like, every little emotion or whatever was acted out. Yeah. I guess. And uh, How'd you... there was, like, nothing but grunts and noises made by the characters. <laughs> and, like, random I'm trying to screaming. think when the last time I even played a Lego game was. It's been I many, many, many years. Ago. Well, I had a discussion with people on the message boards because I was like, I, f- they released screenshots of the game, and I was like, these screenshots look really poor graphically. Oh, I remember. Oh, the game yeah. looks Your great. Your screenshots are poor. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> like, yeah, the Lego models themselves, I mean, they, they could be better, but the environments look, uh, like, really good. Anyway, Ooh, go that's on. That's nice. How would you rate the game, like, out of 10? Uh, I haven't really gone too far in it, but arbitrary number ranking. <laughs> uh, I'll say so far maybe like a like an eight eight point five. Hmm, that's cool. Cause I love the Lego Star Wars games when I was little too. So, oh uh, yeah, go get it. I think we all played them as a kid. I Lego played Star them Wars without one. having seen any of the movies. Yep, that doesn't surprise <laughs> me. Wow. In fact, the Lego games, the Lego games are where the majority of my Star Wars knowledge came from before I saw the movies. Wow, so they taught you nothing then. <laughs> they nice. taught me the basics like Anakin and Darth Vader and like you know yeah he didn't stuff. show you that Yoda died apparently <laughs> <laughs> probably just didn't pick wow. up on it <laughs> that, that first when the Lego Star Wars came out the video game I remember it being such a huge hit oh yeah and so like now I mean over time I feel like Legos kind of like run the gamut of like having themes as Lego games to the point where it's no longer like I remember Lego Star Wars two came out too. And people are like, "Oh, this is really cool." It's no longer over time, revolutionary. It's, like, it's no, yeah, yeah it's no it got longer really like a revolutionary thing. Really bland after a while, or not bland, but um, uh, I would say stale. Just, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, it got stale. It is stale. It got stale. I feel like they, I feel like they needed, like I felt that they needed to uh, to upres, you know, the the quality of their games. <laughs> Like, I really felt like, I mean, I feel like they need a new engine. Uh, I feel like TT Games have kind of been running on the same engine for a really long while. I'm glad to hear that, like, the Force Awakens does have some nicer environments. But, like, I, I remember playing, like, the Marvel on the Xbox 360, like, a Marvel superheroes, and I felt it was a graphics role, right? Yeah, yeah. They, so they, they, right, they definitely you know. improved graphically. Um, if you want something like Battlefront-style graphics, sorry to disappoint you, but uh, <laughs> we are not in that age. Wouldn't, it, wouldn't that be easier to do like Lego? I mean, we, we know that the, the technology exists. Legos are, you know, they're all flat plastic things. They all have the same rendering thing applied to the entire texture. Isn't that like, shouldn't that be easier to do? Right? Because no, they don't have skin. Harder. You don't have like skin and, you know, like hair and anything. Ew, like what the, if the they hair did texture that? Piece. 
That would like be the, weird oh, looking. That, that would, would be, be weird. weird. That would be really mm. creepy. That would be that weird. Would be I don't know. I think that would be weird. When it comes By to the, the way, graphics we of the Lego games, weird? I think it's fine. <laughs> like, sure, some of the models could be a little up res. Like, I noticed one thing that Kai pointed out to me before was like, oh, yeah, well, you can still kind of see, like, the edges of the polygons. I'm like, well, yeah, that's true. But the edges of the for polygons? The... You can see, like, the end of the website? What? Mm-hmm. Uh, the polygon. website polygon. He's making a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right. Out of all the people to not get that, Kahi. Come on. <laughs> because it's so stupid and so far apart what really we're saying. Bad. Like I got yeah. it, but it was just it was really like I I just hope in reality you don't fall as hard on your face or anything as you do with that joke. Dude, you're gonna we'll break see. something. It would Ouch. be so funny because it's like if you said Gawker, it'd be like. Did somebody say Gawker, brother? Like Hulk Hogan comes in. Who? Oh come on! I, I I didn't get that. Are you serious? I, no. You're no. incredible. <laughs> You're incredible for making that joke. Hey, Ben, how's the game? Let's go back to what you were saying. Where you were very rudely interrupted for that great joke. Yeah, it was a great joke. Thank you. Okay, fine. Let's just end then. All right. Be that way. All right, Ben. <laughs> All right, that's your opinion. Sure. Okay, well, Ben's not talking. What's going on? What is this? <laughs> Come on. Ah, sorry. Oh, he cut I out. To, I had to get up for like a moment. Oh, okay. oh, wow. Anyway, wow. final thoughts. Final thoughts. Sorry, you know, life is a thing. But final thoughts. <laughs> um, Oh, it, there's one thing that does bug me a bit, but I, I've been getting past it. But the game starts out pretty linear. Uh, mm. you're like you're kind of forced to play through the story for a good bit until you're finally allowed to go uh, roam around these open areas. But oh, um, free play, yeah. And uh, mm. it took me a while to figure out like how to buy characters and vehicles and stuff because there's no like there's no like little thing that shows you directly where to go for that kind of stuff. Like in the old games, do they make you play you're, you're to in the cantina, cantina? Basically, yeah. In the right. old games, do they you make had you the play that in this one? No, not really. Oh, okay. I mean, kind of, uh, I don't really know how to explain it, but in the old games, it was just simple because he had the cantina and from the cantina, you could go to like the different levels and, you know, but the cantina was like your central hub. That's where you went to just chill, check out characters, buy characters, do all that sort of stuff. There are, uh, different areas that fulfill these purposes in the game, but it's, it's hard to find them. And, oh, there's this one thing that really bugs me, too, is, like, if you try going on the map to try to find these these spots, right? If you use the map, there's no, like, key or anything. So there's, you, nothing has a name. There's no labels or anything. So you kind of have to oh, do, no. you kind of have to guess, like, what is what. And it's really annoying. Um, that oh, does man. not sound the greatest in the world. And it took me forever to figure out how to buy characters. Cause I'm like, okay, I'm, lo- I'm unlocking all these, so how do I actually buy them? And then yeah. it took me until like I went into free play on one of the levels, and then only then would it would it allow me to actually buy characters. And I was like, well, "Interesting, that's kind of oh. weird." Well. But uh, yeah, that's that. That's all I got. Well, it is number one on the UK charts right now. At so least for all its that. faults, it is there, you know selling pretty well. Um, I would be very shocked if it did happen. not sell well. Cause, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Force Awakened. It's Force Awakened was a juggernaut in the U.S. Oh, yeah. It made almost a billion dollars domestically, which is kind of unheard of. Um, oh, most man. like most billion dollar like <laughs> movies have a combination of like the U.S. and you know elsewhere. So it made almost a billion in the U.S. That's crazy. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> um, that's basically it. I don't think any, anyone else have anything they want to say. Not uh, really. Uh, like, nah, nah, I think maybe we could end and have a shorter right. episode. Yeah, in that case, yeah, I just want to yeah, I got quickly appointment. do a shout out to uh, the TTV store where you can go and buy our shirts. Yeah. And uh, we have, uh, actually, what shirt do we have Shh, don't say this either. month? <laughs> no? Okay. Hey, we have shirts. It's it's a go to the TTV store. Yeah. Go to the TTV store and, uh, you know, see what we have there and feel free to uh, buy them because I'm sure whatever design we have up there is going to be great. I yeah. was wearing yesterday, I was wearing Purple's uh, Civil War shirt and it's fantastic. It's amazing. I love oh, it. Really? So. Well, it's, it's a great shirt. Yesterday, um, I was wearing an American shirt because I'm an American. <laughs> oh, today is going to be the day that I'm going to throw it back to you. I'm actually you. wearing my control shirt right now, so... Oh, nice. LOL. Wait, you bought it? You are Americans. Yeah. Ugh. I buy, like, every shirt. Oh, I love you. Uh, 
I'm in Aww. a call with a bunch of commies. Oh my gosh. No political discussion. Well, I mean... <laughs> I think the only TV oh, show I haven't gotten was the Civil War the one. So <laughs> now, Purple, you think we're getting too far into political discussion? you be like, guys, I need to stop this conversation right now. We need to stop the episode. Hold the presses. Hold the press. Well, I mean, you guys said you were going to end like two how... minutes ago and no one's ended yet. Yeah, can so... we like, yeah, like stick to our guns? Hey guys, this has been TTB. <laughs> <laughs> episode, episode 10. 10. Hype. Episode 10. See you guys later. My name is John, aka Kahi. My name is Mesa. I'm LJ. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ven. And I'm Purple. And this again was Brick Feed for like the fifth time. It's episode 10. We didn't get it already. What episode is it? Ten times. Just Ten. It's twenty-two. That's oh, awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in my recording. Episode twenty-two. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh my gosh.